Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. This is Taliesin McKnight's personal vlog. And today, I just wanted to talk a little bit about what I've been working on. Um, so yeah, it's kind of interesting what I'm about to start getting into in my personal practice. Um, first of all, I wanted to announce that Robert and I will be doing another episode of Magic Occult Radio coming up. And uh, we'll be talking about celestial ascent through the planets and uh, classical sources and yeah. So it's interesting this theme because in my personal practice, you know, I've never really chronicled my experiences or what I'm doing in my own personal practice. I've never done that before. So for the first time, I'll be able to go into kind of like what I'm working on in my own personal practice. So um, let's talk a little bit about astral projection. Astral projection is essentially the practice of leaving your physical body and exploring higher dimensions. Okay, there are two attitudes when it comes to astral projection, and often these overlap. There is the psychological model that you're just traveling in your mind. Okay, it's like a waking dream. There is the psychological explanation of astral projection that really you're just traveling in your own subconscious, okay? Like, what was that movie with Leonardo DiCaprio? What was it? Damn it. But, like, the whole thing was, like, him entering into people's dreams. and. Um, but, yeah, there's that model. That astral projection is inner travel in your mind, okay? And I think that's pretty much just totally accepted. Like, no one would debate that, you know? And the second view is that, yeah, you're actually coming into contact with external beings and forces. And there are a great number of people that combine these two. Yes, you're traveling in your mind, your subconscious, but through the subconscious, you're able to make real contact with things that are not human. Okay. So... We have these three views of what astral projection is. Mental travel, travel with higher intelligences, and a, a mixture of the two. It could be both. So whatever the case may be, um, I've decided to go through a journey, more or less. I'm going to try to combine astral projection and grimoire practices. So I'm going to start astral projecting with the grimoires, and um, we'll see what the results are, you know. Of course, we're dealing with something very subjective. We're dealing with me traveling in my own, I guess, mind, or however you want to see it, and uh, do, combining it with grimoire magic. That's my goal. I want to be initiated in this sense of the higher forces. I want to have true, I want to be taught <laughs> by the gods, more or less. Um, so, I'm doing this because astral projection is something that I have to achieve and master right now. It's like my task. And so, I've decided to combine it with grimoire magic and see what happens. I'm probably going to do it daily, or near daily, um, this morning, I did it my first time. Now, I don't think I can normally talk about my experiences. I could see, I could ask, you know, I could see, like, what can I talk about this? Some of it will probably be kept private. Some of it I'll end up talking about. Today, I did my first experiment. This morning, it was, um... Because I want to do it daily, I can't wait for the perfect astrological moment. I'm going to start off with the moon. I'm going to do this as a planetary ascent. This morning I started at the hour of the moon, uh, altar by my bed, two white candles, incense, very simple. I recited the um, 
the Orphic Hymn to the Moon. And then I try, I spent about, I guess, 10, 15 minutes imagining that I was just leaving my body. And then I went up. And um, this time around, I didn't have any, like, deep mystical... Ex it was just a constant seeking after the moon, seeking after the moon, seeking to go deeper, deeper, deeper. But I felt subjectively, I felt like I was getting more and more and more in tune to the moon. Almost like you have two guitar strings, or two guitars. You pluck the string, the same string on the other guitar will resonate. So that was interesting, but that's pretty much all I had today. But my goal is to astral combine astral projection through the planets. I don't know. I might chronicle my experiences a little bit. This is actually the first time ever that I've talked about what I'm doing personally on YouTube. And then, like, this is the first time I've ever like talked about a practice as I go through it. So that'll be interesting. But um, yeah, it's interesting now. It's even more interesting that I know that we're about to talk about celestial ascent um, and looking at the classical sources. So we have that show coming up. Um, anyways, I guess that's all I have for today. But I'm really excited because I'm basically undertaking a major working That'll probably take months, uh, maybe even a year. Um, and it doesn't mean I'm going to do it daily the whole time, but this is my task. This is what I'm starting. So you're seeing me at the beginning of an operation, basically. My goal is to do astral projection through the seven planets, through the hierarchies, make contact, all of that. So, we'll see how it goes. Other than that, everything's been good. Um, like I said, I'm getting a lot into my personal practice. Um, and uh, I find myself having more of like a devotional practice type of thing with the planets. Um, reciting the Orphic hymns, as Pica the Picatrix says and as Agrippa says. And uh, dealing with correspondences. Something I've been thinking about is making a lunar bottle. As like a little shrine or connection to the moon, for example. What I might do is take a bottle. And this kind of comes from my bottle magic video that I did way back in the day talking about hoodoo. But this is going to be more of an Agrippa bottle. So this is my idea. What I'm going to do, and I was talking to Robert about this the other day, I'm going to take a bottle and I'm going to put in correspondences of the moon into the bottle based on Agrippa, classical sources. What are the stones of the moon? What are the plants of the moon? You know, symbols. I'm going to use classical correspondences from like Agrippa, the Picatrix, the Key of Solomon. I'm going to put these objects in the bottle. That will be my lunar bottle. I might paint the seal of the moon on the bottle from Agrippa. I don't know, magic square of the moon, whatever. It'll be my lunar bottle. And then with a metal top, I can burn candles on it so I can burn petitions on top of it. And I could wrap it in silk, probably silver in color, wrap it in silk to keep it like separate from the other bottles. And I might make planetary bottles mm -hmm. as like little shrines, little a little link with the planet. I can burn candles on top of it. So it's just an idea. I might end up doing that um, as, as I work through the planets. Um, anyways, that's basically it. I'm about to start astral projecting with the planets, and we'll see how it goes. Um, I have mixed feelings on this, because I feel like these things are not supposed... You're not really supposed to talk about your practices. You know? But I figure I've got this personal vlog. It might be cool. I could try it out. I can kind of talk about my journey as I go through it. So that's basically it, y'all. I hope everyone's having a good day today, you know? It's just a quick little video for y'all on my personal vlog, talking about what I'm working with. And um, I'll see y'all next time. I hope y'all have a great day out there on Internet Land.
Bye, y'all.